So you have no bruise, you don't have a trident, and you have to deal with 98 hit points worth of damage. Welcome to my Fragment of Saren guide, the final boss in the Song of the Elves quest. This guide will break down a simple but consistent method to defeat Saren with low gear requirements. For gear setup, maximize your magic accuracy and damage. A charged glory, explorer's ring 3, or ring of dueling make good emergency teleports. Upgrade any gear where available. If you have access to a trident or sanguinesti staff, use that instead. The additional damage outperforms any healing from blood spells. I will briefly go over this method later in the video. Saren's cave is located south of Underground Pass. Entering the Death Altar through the Abyss also takes you directly there. Set Autocast to your highest level blood spell, either Blitz or Blood Barrage. Right click, set your Quick Prayers to Protect from Range and Mystic Might, and get ready to meet your challenger. So the first part is pretty chill. We're just going to be DPSing. To just move away quickly. Now the next attack, she's going to do a copy of herself. You don't have to worry too much about this. Now you'll have time for three attacks. One. Two. Three, equip your hunter bow, attack, blood barrage, and we're cooking. So just uh, drink one of these. You can still attack during this attack. You don't want to waste your prayer though, so just eat normally. And continue with the fight. Now we will go over her special attacks. In her first special attack, she will bring you close to her. All you have to do is step at least one tile back to avoid getting hit by a repeated melee attack. Her second special attack, Saren will make copies of herself. Attack the one with the pink shadow. Now you will have time for three attacks. One. Two and three, equip your range weapon, attack all but one of the crystal whirlwinds, equip your ancient staff, and tag the remaining healing spawn with a blood spell. The last attack will heal and also allow you to attack from 10 tiles away. Her fourth special attack will freeze you two tiles away. You can still attack during this time. Eat, then use Guthic's Rest to heal you to full health. Pray Redemption. Once it hits, eat a Tuna Potato, then a Prayer Potion, then a Karambolan. Activate your Quick Prayers, and then repeat. A few tips. Common mistakes are missing opportunities to eat food. Now, when she makes clones of herself, and then afterwards brings herself together. There's a small delay, which you can't do anything during this time, so this is a free opportunity to eat food. Another common mistake is during her last phase, because she prevents you from moving, it feels like you're stunned, and because of this reason, especially with the trident, people don't attack. So make sure you take this opportunity to heal, but also do damage. Another common mistake I see is not trying to flick uh, Mystic Might. Accuracy actually plays a tremendous role in this fight, and so does using a higher damage spell. Damage on Saren is capped at 24, but having a higher max hit means that you'll have more chances to roll a higher number and therefore defeat her faster. My final tip. 
is to simplify the healing spawn tagging process as much as possible. Blowpipe is by far the best. If you do not have that, use a Carol's crossbow, hunter's bow, or a magic shortbow. If you use a blood spell on the furthest final spawn, this allows you to tag all four healing spawns without moving your character, and therefore reduce the probability of mistakes. The attack range is 8 or 7, more than double that of darts, attack range 3. For those of you using a trident, I've included a few more tips, which will be as follows. For those of you using a trident or another empowered staff, I want you to remember that unlike spells, empowered staffs have a max hit based on your magic level. Ceridomen brews lower your stats and therefore reduce the damage you deal to Fragment of Saren. Only brew after the third special, then again after the damage from the fourth special. Remember, her fourth special does not stun you, it just prevents movement. Don't forget to attack her while you are brewing. This will ensure that you are doing maximum damage throughout the fight. Hope you guys learned a lot from this guide. Leave a like or subscribe if you did, and best of luck on your Ironmans.